Hello, welcome to Cooking with Chungus. Today we're going to be making Hokkaido milk bread, also known as Japanese milk bread. This recipe is via the flavor bender. So for our Hokkaido milk bread, first we need to make a tanzong. Here are the ingredients. 60 ml of water, 60 ml of milk, and 23 grams of bread flour. So after you've made the tanzong, these are the ingredients for the bread. Half a cup of lukewarm milk, 7 grams of active dry yeast, 50 grams of sugar, 15 grams of dry milk powder, 1 egg, 350 grams of bread flour, 1 teaspoon of sea salt, and 58 grams of unsalted butter. So the first thing we're going to make is a tanzong. So we're going to use our water, our milk, and our bread flour. So first things first, we put the water in the saucepan. And then we'll whisk our bread flour into the water until there's no lumps. And we'll put in our milk. We'll heat this over a medium heat. And we're going to keep whisking until the tanzong reaches a pudding-like consistency. Now that the tanzong has reached a pudding-like consistency, nice pudding, uh, we will now put this into a bowl. Okay. We'll scrape this all into a bowl because we need this to be room temperature to go into our dough. Alright, now that we've got this tanzong in the bowl, we want to put some cling wrap so it doesn't develop the skin. Cling wrap on the tanzong. Still quite hot to the touch so we'll come back and revisit after about 20 minutes or so. Alright, now we want lukewarm milk. I'll put this in for about 30 seconds. Maybe 21 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. Now we will dissolve our sugar into the lukewarm, lukewarm milk. Here we go, woo! Dissolved, baby. Alright, now that it's all dissolved, and I'm sincerely hoping I didn't nuke the milk too much, we put the yeast into the milk. Here she goes. So we stir it, and the yeast should react with the milk and we're to leave this for about 10 to 20 minutes and by the time we come back it should be one big bubbly mess. See you in 20 minutes. As you can see now the yeast is all bubbly. Zoom into that bubbly goodness. And full chungus disclosure I made a chungus mistake. I was only meant to put one teaspoon of sugar in here and I put all 50 grams. Oh! Alright, so we'll put this in our mixing bowl. Now that the yeast is all activated. Add our milk powder. The rest of the sugar. Oh look, it's already in there. Uh, our hands on. Our lovely hands on. Now at room temp, pop that in. Oh, this is gonna be good. Oh yeah. We'll add our egg. Flour. And our salt. Now we'll mix all of this until it becomes a scraggly dough. Can 
pretty squiggly. That's been kneading for about five minutes and now we're going to incorporate our butter. So we'll put it in three or four additions, have it mixing for about 20 seconds. That's just my timer going off. And we'll knead for about five or seven minutes after that. There we go. Butter goes in. I'm just going to scrape the bowl down once or twice while kneading just to make sure we get every little bit of the dough incorporated. Now that our dough is ready, we'll go and take it out. I should point out this is the first time I've ever made bread. So let's just see how this goes, huh? Alright. Bit of a good. <laughs> That's strong enough. Ugh. Why is it stuck? Is it? Thank you. I'm 29 weeks pregnant, so. for about one to two hours. I'll just cover this up with some cling wrap. And hopefully that should double in size. So have a look at it now. It's gonna be twice as big when we come back. Welcome back. Now our dough has proved for two hours and you'll see now it's doubled in size. Look at that. Lovely. Now we have to put this in the fridge for a further two hours chill and the dough will be a lot more easier to handle. So in the fridge it goes. Da, 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 da. Be back in two hours. Alright, now we're back. So let's have a look at how our dough is going. Oh boy. There we go. Right, so we've sort of got our dough ball. We want to weigh it and divide it to four equal portions. There we go. So 733 grams divided by four. Testing my math. You know like the math calculations that I have on my head. Now that we want to do is 
So you want it to roll it into a square. Roll it to be roughly around the width of the loaf pan. final proof about one to two hours hopefully it'll just have its final rise and we'll be able to put it in the oven welcome back now let's have a look at our beautiful loaf you can see it's pretty much doubled in size and now what we're gonna do is put in an egg wash that's some of these bad boys Nothing to see here. This will help it make it nice and glossy. We'll put it into a 180 degree oven for about 35 minutes, head first. And we'll just double check as well, about halfway through to see how the top is caramelizing. If it's getting a bit brown and we still have a bit of time to go, we'll put a bit of foil on top. But we'll the oven now. Goes on. We'll be back soon. Huh. Nice and obvious. like bread to me. We'll leave it to cool in the pan for a few minutes and then we'll flip it out on the wire rack. Okay, let's turn this puppy out. Apparently this looks good. Does it look like bread? It looks like bread. Oh yeah, flip it over. Oh, it's still hot. Okay. We'll cut into this when it's uh, room temp. Now we have the moment of truth. It's been about half an hour since we turned it out. It's about room temperature. So have a look at this cross section. Here we go. Oh, that looks good. You can see the yellow from the bottle. Mm, not bad. Kind of looks like a cake. I thought it hurts the butter or not. Mm. It's, it's like brioche bread. Yum. That's good stuff. And that is how you make Hokkaido milk bread. <laughs> 